Hey, this is TJ with PixarPost.com. Let's take a look at the art of finding Dory book. Obviously, right off the bat, you'll notice the beautiful cover art of Dory swimming in a kelp forest. Uh, one of our favorite things to always look at is the book design itself. It's got this nice little, almost uh, kelp symbol that's on there, and a really good hardcover book, nice bright blue. Uh, let's take a look and dive into some of the pages though. Uh, we're not going to be, if you're looking for any spoilers, we're not going to give away too much here. We try to keep our reviews uh, just, as, uh, just enough to give you a flavor for what the book is without giving anything away. So the opening pages, of course, you'll see some amazing artwork from Ralph Eggleston. You've got another great piece here from Tim Evatt. And the way the book is laid out is fantastic. It gets right back to what we love about the art of books. It's got a preface, forward, introduction, and the book has a lot of text. For people that may have been a little disappointed with the lack of some of the text in the Good Dinosaur or Inside Out books, this one really dives back in. It breaks it down into Act 1, 2, and 3. You get some color scripts and some acknowledgments. I'm not going to show you the preface or forward. I don't want to give away the whole thing, but in the preface, John Lasseter says that Hank may be the biggest challenge that the Pixar animators have ever faced, and that Andrew and his team have made this world bigger, deeper, and richer in every way. And in the foreword, Andrew Stanton gushes about, how, about the team and says how great it is that they got a second chance to dip back into the sea and visually find a way not to repeat themselves, which was a total thrill, a challenge, and such an honor for the team. As far as the actual book itself, one of the best parts about all of the art of books is some of the great behind-the-scenes research photos that the team takes, and you see quite a few of them here looking at, uh, at the aquarium and uh, some of the different lighting styles that they might be coming across, something that I always look forward to seeing in these books and glad to see that it's here again. On uh, this page, again, one of the things you love about Pixar is all the detail that they always incorporate. And I just love seeing the production di designer Steve Pilcher and Jerome Ramf Ramft looking over this coral sculpt that uh, Jerome has done here. Just absolutely fantastic and gorgeous. Uh, as you fast flash forward a little bit, that's in Act 1. So Act 1 really sets up a lot of the design, and it's such a great throughput. They'll show you, even in Act 1, a whole bunch of the storyboards, and they actually even have some... I don't recall seeing this before, they have deleted scenes of the storyboards boarded out. Really a great touch. Uh, and so once you move from there into Act 2, you'll start to see a lot more of the character and set and place designs for the film. So in this page, you obviously get some great looks at Bailey. Um, lots of them from basic sketches uh, from Stanley Moore, Alex Wu, Jason Deemer, Jerome Rampton, Steve uh, Pilcher here again. Here are a few more looks into the Marine Life Institute, and in the page they mention that in order to make Hank and Dory feel visually out of place, they used uh, muted color palettes for the sets. Whenever the story called for subdued colors, it's an opportunity for them to play with texture and aging of the materials. Just amazing insights into the story and how they designed this film. All right, we're choosing not to show anything from Act 3. It shows too much from the storyboards, uh, and then also from the color scripts. We didn't want to give too much away. Uh, but the book does end with a fantastic acknowledgement from Lindsay Collins praising Chronicle Books, the partner that produced this book, as well as the Pixar team and how hard they worked on the film. Uh, as far as Art of Book goes, Art of Books go, this one is absolutely fantastic and we can't recommend it enough. Absolutely click the links in the video description below and be sure to pick this up. It does contain plenty of spoilers, so if you are avoiding them before you see the film though, definitely don't crack the pages open until after you see the film. But definitely buy this book, it is a fantastic Art of and, and representation of the film. Be sure to stay tuned to PixarPost.com all week for the latest Pixar news. Bye bye